Amen. Amen. You know, some of the things you shared this morning are actually burdens in my own heart as well, because the ripple effect of some of the things that we are seeing and some of the things that we are promoting consciously and unconsciously is it's spreading to a generation. I went back to my alma mater. Um, they were doing their handing over. And while I can't really speak into everything, but I just hope mm-hmm. I was I saw a couple of things and I'm like, wow, this daddy mommy thing has taken a whole new turn <laughs> on a level where servant leadership is no longer what is practiced, but Lord leadership of man and idolatry, if we're not careful, is what has been promoted. Because whatever a generation condos, another generation is going to make the norm, you know. So I just pray the Lord God will help us, like you said, to be the right model as it is. Um, so yesterday I was asking the Lord from time to time before I post, sometimes, most times actually, all the time, to be honest, I'm literally asking the Lord, what do you want me to post? So I was looking for a message and I, found one where I was talking, and it's called Patterns on YouTube, where I was talking about how sometimes in the very core of your life, you know, it's possible not to see it. Many people heard about the story of, 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 of um, um, many people heard the story of how the walls in Jerusalem have been broken. Nehemiah heard it and his heart was moved and grieved. And um, so we're going to pray this morning. Um, one of the things I also feel is that there's a way our belly, what we eat, what we drink, can become so strong and so loud that it's louder than the burdens of God on our hearts. So we're gonna just be, we're gonna pray in the spirit and Lord, stay our hearts again, stay our heart for what stays your heart, stay our hearts for towards the very thing you have created us for. There's a way, um, persecution. There's a way, um, um, pain. There's a way betrayal. There's a way life can seep out life from the very thing God has called us to do. So this one, we're just going to cry unto God. And one scripture that's coming to my mind is Luke 21, when it says, didn't our heart burn? That's Jesus on the road of Emmanuel after he disappeared. The disciples were like, didn't our heart burn when he spoke to us? Didn't our heart burn when he spoke to us? So if when your wife is not noisy, I want us to open our mouth and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost this morning. Oh, Shataya Daba. Thank you, the God that gives vision, the God that has our mission, the God that leads our path. Oh, Shatabayada. We worship you. We thank you. Oh, we bless your name, oh God. Manda Rada Bracosha Tala Baracosha Telebaracosha Rada 
Radabaracata da Baracata, Rete Berocoche Tele Berocoche Tecate, Radabaracata da Baracata, Rete Berocoche Tele Berocata, Redabaracata da Baracata, Tele Berocoche Tecate, Radabaracata de Borocoche Tecate, Radabaracata de Borocoche Tele Berocoche Rada Baracata, the Leverocosha, the Leverocoto, Rada Baracata, the Baracata, the Leverocosha, 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 Rede Berocoche, le Berocoche, Tecate, Rade Berocoche, le Berocoche, Tecate, Rade Berocoche, le Berocoche, Rade Berocoche, le Berocoche, Tecate, Rade Berocoche, le Rade Berocoche, le Rade Berocoche, 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 Rada Baracata de la Berocosa, Rada 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 de Oh, Santa Maria, Papa, 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 Rada <laughs> <laughs> 
name of prayer. As we're praying the spirit, the Lord dropped the scripture came to my heart. Um, um, Ecclesiastes chapter 11, verse 4. He says, a farmer who wait for the right wind will never plant any seed. If he is always looking at the cloud, he will never bring in his crops. A farmer who wait for perfect weather never plants. If they watch every cloud, they never harvest. You know, and what the way it came to my spirit, he says that what came to my spirit is that people are you are watching. You are watching to determine, you are letting your eyes determine the seed you sow. You are letting your eyes determine, um, if you keep watching the environment, watching what is happening, watching who is doing what. A lot of people, God has given them burdens, but they are waiting for perfect before they can sow seeds. They are waiting for perfect before they can engage. If you keep looking around, if you keep trying to look for perfect condition, perfect scenario, you will never be able to plant. You will never be able to plant. And if you can, you see, when the devil, Aya, when the devil tries to begin to en- try to use your eyes to engage your assignment, just your bare eyes, your natural eyes, to engage how you plant, it's not after your sowing, it's after your harvest. Because if you don't plant, you cannot harvest. If you don't plant, you cannot harvest. You know, and I felt the Lord even saying to me, like, let me see you, we are using our eyes to determine. Why are you trying to gauge my harvest? Why are you using your eyes to determine the, the weather? To determine, the question is, what have I said to you? We're going to pray. The Bible says, until, until your eyes be single. Your whole body is when your eyes are single that your whole body is filled with light. He says that if you look at the weather, you will never plant. The weather here represents different things. The weather can be wind, the weather can be sun, the weather can be rain, the weather can be droughts, the weather can be anything, the weather can be the economy, the weather can be what people are saying. The weather can be the success of other people. The weather can be anything. If you keep looking at the weather, you will never plant your seed. And if you never plant your seed, you will never have harvest. Now, when God begins to speak about harvest as well, and begin to get our hearts ready to begin to bring in that which he has put in our hearts, if you also begin to look around, you despise your harvest. We're going to pray again. We're going to cry out to God this morning. We're going to say, Father, help us with what we see. Help us to plant our seeds in the name of Jesus. Remember where we started. What is the burden of God for your heart? So we're going to open our mouth and begin to pray. In any way, I have been stalling my harvest or stalling, stalling my planting or stalling my harvest. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask for mercy. Can we open our mouth and begin to pray? In any way, I've been looking around. Looking around, being entertained by other people's harvest that you're not planting your seed. Father, have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that there is the, the, the centrality of my focus in this season. In the name of Jesus. Come on, open your mouth this morning. If where you are is not noise, you can unmute your mic, sir. Manda kasata yadaba. Jete lebo kosokoto. Mende kele bashada. Manda kasupre de vika la bashada. The Lord, in the name of Jesus, our eyes are open. Manda kasoto lobo shoto. Mende kele beka supre de veke stika. Jete kele beke supre de veke stika. In any way, I've been distracted by sowing my seeds. Hey, shut up. 
Bayadaba, Socoto Loboco, Socoto Lobosha, Um, we were going to use the rest of the minute time to pray for when friends pray Ghana. Um, it's quite interesting to see what God is doing. How God is there. We're going to thank God for what he's doing. We're going to thank God that we're going to pray and thank God that the sponsor ads will begin to reach people beyond what we pay for. What I mean is that it's going to do so well. And I'm already saying it. Um, <laughs> the people as at Tuesday, we are as at Saturday, 
we just had we still just had two people that had signed up for volunteer. <laughs> As that Sunday, by the time we we're gonna have a meeting, we had had forty something people register to volunteer. And how God did it, only God knows. And by the time we started asking, thank God for Mary. Mary had invited some of our friends. But people were also talking about the sponsor, I don't know. And I told you to encourage people. Everything you do must partner with God. I remember it's Abuja that first opened my eyes to this issue of even your publicity, you know, how God, you know, partnering with God basically, really, because with Lagos, Belgium, a lot of places, sometimes I'm like, God, what are you doing? You know, I was just saying the hand of God. God has helped us so far. We're going to pray that everything that is remaining, the Lord will begin to stir the heart of people. God is about to do something in Ghana. God is about to strengthen the work he's doing. God is about to send us to strengthen what he's doing and awaken a, a cry. I hear my spirit. Is God is about to awaken a sound, a quickening of a sound in Ghana. God is about to. It's a sound that will awaken. It's almost like there's a people that need to be awakened. There's the people that need to be relaunched. There's the people that need to be encouraged. And the Lord God is, you know, raising a sound. And then the next thing we're going to pray for is resources. We're trusting God for 8.5 million left. We have 8.5 million between now. We want to by this week, we need to buy the ticket of everybody before it keeps going up. And then all the other things that we need to do. We're going to pray in the name of Jesus and begin to decree that, Lord, devil, get your hands off our resources. Get your hands off our 8.5 million naira. Thank you because it comes in. Ministry angels bring it forth. I'll begin to thank God. And everyone, the Lord will, you know, stir the heart of men to give. God will bless people to be a blessing in the name of Jesus. And then we're going to Thank God for the outpouring. Can we open our mouths and begin to pray in those light? Thanking God first for our fires, brothers. Thank you for staring the heart of people. Thank you for breathing upon our, our sponsor arts. Thank you for breathing, breathing over our designs. Thank you for breathing over and um, people sending invites to people. Thank you, oh God, for the breath of life. Thank you for when friends pray Ghana. Thank you for what you're set to do. Thank you for the venue, for the favor we started receiving. Oh, thank you, oh God, for the coordinator, Mary. Thank you for the works of our hands. Thank you for, 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 for the grace to rally people now we thank you for all the volunteers we thank you for the staring can we pray the lord will stare the out of volunteers to come into oneness with the burden and the passion of god for the for for when friends spring in the name of jesus now we thank you for all the resources we need uh, we thank you for all the resources we need thank you for all the resources um we're still trusting you god for 8.5 thank you because that's coming thank you because the end of the enemy has been rebuked over our resources thank you for the men the women the people you put the burden on their heart thank you for providing for people. Thank you for provision in the name of Jesus. Thank you for provision. Thank you for provision. Thank you for provision, you for provision. in the name of Jesus. Thank you. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Ah, Father, we worship you. Father, we thank you for the resources that are coming in. We stand upon the scripture that Moses said they had more than enough in Exodus. He said they had more than enough. Uh, they had more than enough. Uh, thank you for provision. Thank you for provision. Thank you for provision. Thank you for provision. Thank you because it has come. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, shut up. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Ay, 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 ay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you for your fresh breath. Um, thank you for your fresh breath. Uh, thank you for your fresh breath. Uh, I just feel a soothing balm right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, thank you for the atmosphere shifting. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, shatayaba. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God bless you all. We can use this link to join all the other watches. In the midst of this, we're excited because October is with well. We're getting set. We're looking forward to what God is set to do. And we know that the Lord will perfect all that concerns us in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you all. Um, there's the 9 a.m. watch, 12 p.m. worship watch, 3 p.m. watch, 6 p.m. watch. We're praying for when friends pray Ghana. Um, 9 p.m. Bible study and prayer. The Lord is in mighty things in this watch. It's 12 midnight, 3 a.m. And we're back again tomorrow. 
Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God.